InterviewSuccessFormula.com InterviewSuccessFormula.com presents Getting the Best Recommendations for Your Job Search. So, a prospective employer is asking you for references or recommendations. This is usually a good sign, unless, of course, you don't have enough references, or maybe you haven't kept up with your references, or possibly you don't have high quality references. That's important. You want good quality references. So we're going to give you some tips and ideas today to help you get those references that you need. The first tip is always to be on the lookout, even while you're not in the middle of a job search. It's still a good idea to maintain a list of individuals who can speak to your qualities as a professional. Keep this list updated and also stay in touch with the people on the list on a regular basis. If you haven't connected with someone in more than six months, I recommend dropping a quick note to say hello or make a friendly phone call, an email, find some way to keep that connection going. Also, you want to be using LinkedIn. Use the recommendations for LinkedIn. That's a great way to use technology to your advantage. Next, you want to broaden your search. Don't be narrow-minded about who could be a reference. You want to think outside the box a little bit here. Consider people that you know through your hobbies or through your involvement with the community. Just about anybody who is willing to say something nice about you to a potential employer could be a good reference. One temptation you must avoid is mass emailing. No email blasts. Don't send the same email out to every recommendation or potential recommendation. I know it might be convenient and easy and quick to send the same email message to everybody that you know. Don't do it because then you'll be putting yourself in danger of not getting any recommendations at all. The whole point of a recommendation request is to build a connection. So you want to make these people feel special. You want to tailor your messages to them in particular. That's how you build connections with potential references. Additionally, it is imperative that you request permission before submitting somebody's name and contact information as a reference. Otherwise, they might be very surprised when a prospective employer calls them and they might not give you the best possible reference. So definitely get permission first. If you liked these tips on getting job references and you want to learn more, then you want to go on over to InterviewSuccessFormula.com. There you can find job interview success tips, techniques, uh, there's a video, there's a free report, uh, there's blogs, articles, lots of great stuff. So get the formula, get the job, InterviewSuccessFormula.com.